What if you had a cargo bike that wasn't electric? That's right. This is not an e-bike. It is just a souped-up mountain bike and a pet trailer. So today on the What If Brigade, I want to talk about the bike setup that I've been using for a little more than a year. And I, uh, I take this to work. Uh, I, well, I take the bike to work five days a week. And then on Saturday, I use the pet trailer to uh, go grocery shopping. Uh, I don't take the pet trailer with me every day to work. Uh, I'll get into that. But <clears throat> yeah, it, it, it works. And uh, now I got this from Decathlon in France. Uh, a lot of this uh, and a lot of that stuff I got um, uh, I ordered off the internet from um, Amazon France. So uh, some of these things may not be available in your area, but I still think that there's a lot of general concept around uh, this type of bike that, uh, that I can share my, the advantages and the disadvantages. So this is a little bit of a review of the piking system that I've been using for a year. Um, and essentially, uh, I started with um, a mountain bike, and I ordered uh, essentially almost every available accessory. I got front and rear racks. The front racks came with these straps. Um, I got a water bottle holder. Uh, I got lights. I got the kickstand. I got uh, nice fluorescent yellow uh, saddlebags. Um, <clears throat> I got a gel comfort seat uh, because I'm riding a lot. Uh, and uh, eventually uh, the handlebar height wasn't quite right, so I... Uh, I got a, uh, a extension for the uh, the stem, um, so that would go up a little bit. And uh, <clears throat> one of the reasons why I got this setup is because I was looking for e-bikes, uh, but there just uh, um, there wasn't any uh, that I wanted available. Uh, they were either out of stock or um, you know certain models I guess didn't exist yet. This was more than a little more than a year ago, um, you know. Welcome to the 2020s, I guess. <clears throat> so, um, but one of the advantages of this bike is that it was available. Uh, the best availability is the best ability is availability in the 2020s, um, and it was and it was cheap. Uh, I believe even with all of the uh, accessory stuff that I ordered. Oh, I forgot to mention the mud flaps. Yeah, you know, that's important <laughs> for a lot of riding. But all the accessories that I ordered. Uh, I think it came to about 440, uh, and then I ordered a bunch more stuff off of Amazon. Of course, I got uh, these uh, these these crates. They uh, they actually collapse, um, fold flat, so I can just uh, um, fold them entirely flat if I want to, and then they come right up. Uh, <clears throat> and then, uh, probably uh, most importantly, uh, for grocery shopping. I got the uh, pet trailer, and this was just a cheap uh, $100 uh, pet trailer. Uh, it's got a bunch of grocery bags inside <clears throat> and, a, and a cooler bag, um, but uh, I got this as a proof of concept. I wasn't sure if I wanted it, so I just got a, a cheap $100 trailer. It's rated for a 25-kilogram dog. I have taken the dog to a vet specialist in this, um, <clears throat> but most, and I have taken the dog hiking, uh, I, I bike to a park and I take the dog hiking in this, but for the most part, this hauls groceries for a family of four uh, and a dog. And uh, and it, it the tra I'm basically exceeding the uh, the trailer's weight capacity, but uh, it hasn't broken yet. And again, I wasn't sure that I was going to want to do the trailer thing. I just kind of got this to try it out, and I've been using it and abusing it for an entire year, uh, and it's worked just fine. Um, so. You know, all in, this was probably, you know, $640, $740 with all the accessories. Uh, Some accessories are are not seen here. Uh, I had a a nice little cell phone holder uh, right here, uh, and uh, it it actually had room underneath for, you know, a couple pairs of sunglasses. Uh, I could put a battery power bank underneath there so I could charge my cell phone while I was biking. Uh, and I had an extra set of extra bright lights on here. Uh, those are on a different bike now. Perhaps that'll be a future video. Uh, but but um, I was uh, biking to work at 5 in the morning along a rail-to-trail um, uh, system that did not have uh, lights. 
And uh, so <laughs> I got a, a spare, much brighter system of lights. Um, it was USB rechargeable. I got a headlamp, um, you know, made sure that I had all those things so that uh, if my lights went out on that trail, I would not be um, biking a trail in pitch darkness. Uh, so uh, that was important. But yeah, so it was, it was cheap. Um, it was available. Uh, it works. Um, and, uh, um, you know, that's, that's really uh, the key. And now I want to take the time to talk about um, some, some disadvantages. And um, the, the first disadvantage that I want to talk about is the brakes. And I got caliper brakes, and I have been using caliper brakes nearly my entire life. Uh, I, I did briefly have an extra large beach bike with fat tires that had just the pedal reverse brakes. Uh, but for the most part, I've been a caliper brakes guy, and I thought these would be fine for my use case. And uh, I, really, uh, I really don't like them. Um, when I'm hauling a trailer full of groceries uh, in the rain down a hill, uh, they stop the bike, but they do not feel safe. Um, and uh, uh, my, my son has a bike with uh, disc brakes on it. Uh, I like that better. I liked that beach bike that had the pedal reverse brakes when I was pulling kids in a trailer. Uh, and so that just, that, those systems just seem to work better than caliper brakes. So uh, I know that bikes with disc brakes or, or other brake systems are more expensive uh, but I would, if you are going to be using a bike as a daily commuter and you are going to be hauling a lot of cargo on it, I would recommend uh, springing for uh, better brakes. And then the second thing that I want to talk about uh, is tires. This is the original. This is the original tire that came with the bike, uh, the front tire, and the rear tire has been replaced uh, three times. Um, and essentially. Uh, I believe um, that this is because while you can use a mountain bike tire as a cargo bike tire, it is uh, just barely good enough. So if you're riding every day, you're riding six days a week, um, you will, you, you are putting too much weight, uh, too much pressure on that rear tire, and it's just, it's just it wears down to nothing. Um, and if you look at cargo bikes and e-bikes today, heavier bikes, they almost all have fatter tires. Uh, and I actually looked for fatter tires uh, here in France, but again, it was the 2020s, there was a ton of stuff that was out of stock, there's not a whole lot of fat tire bikes for sale around here anyway. Uh, Amazon France does not have nearly the selection of Amazon US, so I thought that this mountain bike tire would work fine. Um, and and again, it, it, hasn't, uh, it hasn't worked uh, nearly as well as I, um, I, I would have liked. I had to replace a lot of tires. This wasn't a big deal. Uh, I got the bike at Decathlon. Uh, they have a bike uh, shop right in the store. Uh, I could just go shopping and they would swap a tire out for me for cheap. Uh, no big deal. Um, but uh, uh, you know, all of the installation and maintenance kind of things uh, have, have been wonderful. It's just that, uh, yeah, every three months or so, I have to go to the bike stop shop and, and get my tire replaced because it's uh, worn down to almost nothing. Uh, so, so yeah, um, that has kind of been um, a little bit of uh, uh, trouble for me too. Uh, the other thing that I really want to talk about is uh, that, you know, obviously I, I set this, <laughs> this was not designed as a cargo bike, it was designed as a mountain bike, and I just set it up as a, as a cargo bike. Um, and it, again, it works, uh, but only just. Um, and so this really depends on your situation, what you need to bring to work. But for my work, I have, um, I have to wear a work uniform. So I have, I have uh, work pants, work shirt, uh, work sweatshirt, work jacket, work rain gear, uh, uh, waterproof steel-toed boots. I also have a lighter weight pair of steel toe boots that is breathable and not waterproof and I am not yeah it is against company policy for me to wear those clothing while biking to work uh, I'm supposed to put it on at my job uh, and that's a lot of stuff to haul on this bike again I a couple of times I have used the trailer to haul uh, the work boots but there's not really a place for a trailer uh, 
to be securely stored at my job. I can securely store a bike, but I can't securely store a bike and a trailer. It's just, it's too big. It doesn't, it doesn't fit down the hallways, that kind of thing. And so, uh, uh, for the most part, I'm, I'm piling a, I put a garbage bag full of clothes up front. Uh, I've got my work backpack and water bottles in the back. Um, you know, I have some, some, uh, bike equipment in the other pannier. I might wear a backpack, that, that kind of thing. Um, and again, it, it all works, uh, but it's, it's not, um, it's, it's, it's not ideal. Uh, and, uh, and so, um, you know, if you are hauling a lot of stuff, uh, like if you've got, you know, um, <laughs> groceries for a family of four or something like that, or a lot of equipment, it's going to go better with a trailer. Uh, can you put all your things on this bike? You know, sort of. I've actually, uh, before I had the trailer, I actually got groceries with this bike, and I essentially just went two or three times a week instead of once a week. Um, and, uh, you know, that's kind of how I, I worked it out. Um, but, but hindsight being 2020, my big takeaways would be uh, fat tires, uh, good brakes, good disc brakes, and also uh, making sure that uh, the bike is going to uh, meet your cargo needs. Actually, when I first got this bike, I had a different job. I had a different use case in mind, and it just kind of, I just kept using it for the new job because, um, you know, I wasn't, I had just started. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep that job, and, I, you know, I looked for, uh, for other bikes, uh, but, you know, it was, it was doing okay. Um, it worked a lot better in the summer where I didn't have to have jackets and sweatshirts and all those kinds of things. Uh, but, but, yeah. Um, so this has been my review of my uh, cargo bike system. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below.